A friend of mine in Kolkata sent me this image. This is a picture of the breech of his air rifle with a pellet loaded and a little blob of Vaseline or petroleum jelly in the skirt. My friend believes that this would increase the velocity of the pellet and he asked me to see if I could experiment and see if this actually works because I have a crony and I thought okay this is a good idea. The rifle I used is this old SDB50 which has been in storage for more than six months. Uh, it's something I've serviced and I've replaced. I've put a really weak spring in it. And as you can see, it's completely dry. It's not been lubricated recently. So I'm going to take some test shots with it and measure their velocity before I do other things with it. I'll probably put some oil into the chamber. And after that, I'll put some petroleum jelly in pellet skirts and try it out. Uh, these are the pellets I'm actually going to use. The Super Dyna United Shot pellets they're pointed uh, you can see what they look like over here this is what it looks like little pointed pellet that weighs about 960 milligrams almost one gram in other words that's the first shot first test shot 139 meters per second the second dry test shot is 140 meters per second and the third dry test shot is 138 pretty consistent and here are the averages of the dry shots with nothing added about 139.3 meters per second the next thing I did was to add some light machine oil into the compression chamber There you go, a few drops of machine oil. My fingers are well away, so even if the barrel closes, I won't get hurt. Test shots. The first one gives me a whopping 157.6 meters per second. Second one is down to almost normal. And oh, the third one is even lower than normal. And the fourth one, okay, about the usual. Fifth one, down again. So the average comes to 139 meters per second with a little light machine oil in the compression chamber. And now I'm going to do what my friend had suggested. I'm actually going to load a pellet into the breech of the air rifle and put a little blob of Vaseline or petroleum jelly in the skirt to see what that does to the velocities. That's the pellet going in. And there is some yucky petroleum jelly on my finger. And that's on the skirt now. The first shot gives me a poor 136.6 meters per second second shot is 140 bit of dieseling there third shot whoa 164.6 and the fourth shot wow 172.6 meters per second something's happening here So I get an average of 153.6 meters per second with Vaseline in the skirt of the pellet. Now we come to the final conclusions. The baseline velocity of the rifle showed a highest velocity of 140 and a lowest velocity of 138.1 meters per second and an average of 139. Pretty consistent. With oil in the chamber, the highest was 157 and the lowest was 131. And an average was almost exactly the same as the baseline velocity. But with Vaseline in the pellet skirt, the highest was 172, the lowest was 136, and the average was 153 meters per second, significantly higher 
than the baseline average velocity of 139 meters per second. So I guess my friend was right. Um, putting a little petroleum jelly in the skirt of the pellet does actually increase the average velocity. But then if you look at the tables, you find that consistent velocity is only with nothing added. Whether I add oil or put Vaseline in the skirt of the pellet, you get higher velocities, but it's inconsistent. Some are low, some are high, and that is definitely going to affect accuracy. I wouldn't recommend it as a routine. Okay for a bit of fun, I guess. And mind you, it might damage your Springer air rifle. Hope you like this. Thanks.